यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन कमेंस्ड हर थ्री डे टूअर ऑफ द बारामती लोकसभा कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी ऑन थर्सडे अपॉइंटेड एज द पार्टी मेंबर इन चार्ज ऑफ द जूरिस्टिक्शन द भारतीय जनता पार्टी बीजेपी लीडर मेट विद हर पार्टी कलीग्स इन द खडकवासला लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली इन द धनकवाड़ी एरिया ऑफ पुणे The Safran Party launched Mission Pravas under which party leaders will visit these weak constituencies to empower workers there and motivate them ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. In Maharashtra, the party has zeroed in on 16 such constituencies, Baramati, the bastion of the Pawars, being one. A source said that while Sitharaman was touring the constituency, she stopped her convoy to lend her ears to rupee bank employees. The incident relates to their application to terminate the liquidation process. While Nirmala Sitharaman was heading to an event in Pune, hundreds of rupee bank employees were waiting outside the venue to submit their appeal against the Reserve Bank of India's RBI license cancellation order, slated to be implemented from Thursday. With the order dated August 8, 2022, the RBI cancelled the license and stopped all banking activities. After the employees appealed against the RBI order, Nirmala Sitharaman not only stopped to hear them but got out of her convoy to hear the grievances of rupee cooperative bank employees. Sources said that they were hopeful after meeting the union finance minister. Another employee shared, earlier bank merger proposals were declined by the bank, which made us think it was an injustice to us. But now that the finance minister has heard our request, we feel hopeful. It may be noted that Rupee Cooperative Bank is a 110-year-old financial institution which started its operations in 1912 in Pune. This bank was established as part of the Swadeshi movement through mass equity participation. Since 2002, there were numerous financial misappropriations and the same resulted in stringent restrictions on its operations by the Reserve Bank of India.